Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today, as part of our Git tutorial series, I'm going to discuss about Git pull and Git fetch command. Also, we're going to discuss the differences between these two commands. So, to start with, let's first discuss what is Git fetch. Git fetch is the command which downloads the objects and references from another or remote repository. So if you want to sync your local repository work with remote repository, then you can use the command git fetch to download all the latest changes from remote repository. Git fetch only downloads the latest changes into the local repository, but does not update the files. It's more like to just see what are the changes available on remote. So let's see how it works. This is my Git repository, and I'm going to clone my develop branch to my local machine. Let me clone the repository by using the git clone command to copy the code to my local machine. So the code has been copied to my machine. And you can see that currently I am on develop branch because I have cloned the same. Now let's say I want to create my own feature branch to start working on a feature. So I'm creating a new branch as my feature. Now let's say that you are working on your feature and someone from your team has merged their changes to the develop branch. And then you want to sync the updated code to your local branch as well. Then how are you gonna do it? So let's first move to GitHub repository. And here I'm gonna update the file in my develop branch. Let's say someone wants to update the feature file under test case folder. And this is the file which I'm gonna update by updating the scenario name. And then I'll commit the changes, providing the commit message. And then I'll commit directly to the develop branch. Here I'm not creating a PR, but you should always create a PR to merge your changes. So the changes has been committed. Now let's go back to the git bash. Here, if I type the command git fetch, then you can see it downloaded the latest information from the origin develop branch. So when you do the git fetch command to sync your local work, then git fetch only downloads the latest code to the machine, but does not overwrite the changes in your files. It downloads the changes so that you can see the differences between the local and remote files. Now, if I open Amazon test.feature file, then you can see that the scenario name did not change, which means that git fetch command did not overwrite the changes in the file. Now, as because git fetch has downloaded the code to the local machine, so we can see the difference between the local and remote files. So git diff is the command to see the difference between two repository. I'm going to see the difference between my feature branch and origin develop branch. You can see here the differences. So on my feature branch, the scenario name is this. And in origin develop branch, the scenario name has been updated with this. So using git diff command, you can see the differences. And once you have evaluated all the changes and ready to merge the changes to your feature branch, then you can use the git merge command for the same followed by the branch name from where you want to merge the changes. You can see here the file has been updated by a git merge command. And if I open this file, then we can see now the scenario name has been updated. So this is how you can download the latest changes using git fetch. And then you can use git merge to merge your changes. On the other hand, 
git pull downloads and overrides the changes from the remote repository in a single command so let's see how git pull works and how it differs from git fetch let me again go back to the repository to update the scenario name in feature file let me commit the changes now let's go back to the project let's say you want to get the latest code from the remote repository and also you want to overwrite the changes as well then you can type the command git pull followed by the branch name so i'm going to sync the latest code from origin develop branch by overwriting the latest changes into my local files you can see here git pull not only downloaded the latest code but also modified the changes into the files and if i open the file then we can see here that the scenario name has been updated so in short git pull is equal to git fetch plus git merge when we do git pull it internally executes git fetch and git merge command for us so earlier we executed both git fetch and git merge command to get the latest code and merge the changes but this time we performed the same operation using only a single command git pull let's look at the other scenario where you're working on your feature and did changes into your files and if i do get status now then it says that i have modified one file now since i have my changes into this file and someone else also working on the same file and pushing his changes into the same so let me commit these files here directly now we have latest changes available on the remote repository and i have my own changes as well to the same file which exist on my local machine so at this moment if i want to check the changes available at remote repository and if i do git fetch then it will only download the latest information from the repository and then we can use git diff command to see the differences between these two repository so you can see here that in this file we have one change in the remote repository which means someone updated the scenario name in this file and i have also changed the scenario name on my local copy as well so this way i can decide whether i need to overwrite the changes available in remote repository if yes then i can use git merge to merge the changes or if i want to keep my changes to the file then i can avoid the git merge now on the other hand if i do git pull command then you can see it downloaded the information but aborted the merge operation because we have our own changes in the same file so it is asking us to either commit our changes or stash them before merging this file so let me first commit my changes to my local repository now the changes has been committed and if i again do the git pull command then you can see here now it tried to merge the files but because i have my own local changes so it raised a conflict and now i need to go to the files to manually resolve the conflict you can see here that it shows the conflict in the file and displays both the version available in remote and local file now to resolve the conflict i can decide which changes i want to continue with whether i want to continue with mine or remote changes let's say i want to go with this change then i can remove the other information and save it and after that i can commit my file and push the changes so when i did git status then you can see 
now it says that this file is both modified which means it is modified at my site and at remote site as well and then i can commit my changes so this is how you can use git pull and git fetch command i hope you guys have understood the difference between these two commands please put your comments in the comment box in case you have any doubts thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe to the channel